again. Um, today I'm going to be doing something completely different from the audience that I've done. I know some of you started calling just a few days ago and some of you are about to start. So I think I will share some tips for you from my experience and my friends' experience. So hope you find it useful because this is a compilation of things I wish I should have known before I started college. And I, I don't know, I think it might be helpful for you. So here we go. The first tip I want to share with you is that you have to give it a try. You have to give college a try. You have to give everything a try. I mean, it's normal if you are confused or if you are stressed because you find that you don't really like the way you're studying. But the thing is, you can really tell if you like it or not on just the first month of college. I mean, you can tell. Um, so you should carry on because at first, every degree is horrible. It's something different from what you're studying in high school. And trust me, it gets better. So when you don't like it now, for me, you like it at the end of the year. Just give it a try, don't give up because maybe you regret it after all. Second advice might be too obvious or too silly, but it really isn't. Go to classes seriously, because if you attend classes, you're going to find a uh, study easier and you're not going to have any problems. Also, if you have doubts, you can always ask Professor or your classmates and um, so that doubt like bothering you and you know sometimes classes might be uh, a little bit boring but trust me they're really useful because they say things in class that maybe you find interesting and can click them with all the things when I'm studying and can help you uh, memorizing things this year so don't say your lazy body on bed let's go to classes Thirteen if is college is not much harder than high school. I mean, it's the same, you just have to understand how to study your degree or the subject. Studying something that you really like is a very different thing from studying in high school. One thing you have to take into account is that one, you have to study and two, you can make it easier for you just trying to understand how you have to study the subject. The book tip is this, please, please don't make a mistake in studying the night before because trust me, coffee and Red Bull won't help you. And of course, so on the study groups. I mean, you can always meet with friends and ask a few questions or doubts that you have, but come on, let's be honest. You're not going to study with your friends. You're going to talk about everything but college. We all know this. Number six is this, if you're lost or you don't know where to find your classes or where to go or where to find this place, please just ask because there are lots of people like you, you're not the only one, so just don't be afraid to ask. Number seven is be outgoing and make friends. This is one of the things I regret the most doing last year because I'm a very shy girl. I'm I've always been really, really shy and the best mistake I made was staying in my room. It is the worst thing you can do, trust me. As I said before, there are lots of people like you. Just be yourself, don't be nervous. Uh, and please, just don't think about, okay, I'm going to be alone at school, I'm going to be all alone, because you're not. You're going to meet lots of people and maybe they are not going to be your friends, but those people are going to be you to other people that actually are going to be your friends. That you're going to share lots of different experiences and um, it's going to be amazing. Number eight, open your mind and get out of your comfort zone. Seriously, you have to try new things, you have to learn different things from other people, but don't get me wrong, if you don't want to, do something, just don't do it. If you really feel like doing something or you're too afraid to do it, please just do it. 
just not real for fear Nine. A very, very, very important thing is if something is bothering you or someone is making you happy, just get rid of it. I mean, it's not worth it to spend all your years in college just fighting with someone or arguing or just being unhappy because it's not worth it. All you have to do is do what you love, the things that make you happy and share with your friends. Because life is short and you have to make the most of it. 10. Just don't tell everything about yourself when you're meeting people because you don't really know how they are, if they are transported or not, and they can put all your words against you, so you don't want that. Plus, it's really beautiful when you, you're friends with someone and I see it discovering things from each other that you can come with. 11. See if it's for those who are saying a president or dorms. There's a huge difference between doing laundry at home and doing laundry at dorms. It takes some time to collect all your lexicals. So one thing I want to tell you guys is buy lots of underwear. Trust me, lots and lots of underwear. So this tip might be sound silly, but buy some food for your dorm. Although you have the canteen or the cafeteria or something, you want to buy it at 1 a.m. when you're studying to sleep. There would be days where you fall asleep and you have classes in 5 minutes and you don't have time to have breakfast. So you have to grab something from what you have and just run straight to classes. But buy coffee as well to wake you up. Number 14 is your room is no longer going to be your room. It's going to be your friend's room and your friend's room is going to be your room and you're all living together so if you're not going to watch a movie you're going to talk about something that has happened. It's very cute when for example you're seeing um, all your friends are checking up on you, you're doing fine, eating something, just making a cup of tea and just you know be there for you. Now Steve is just your college because all those years are really really incredible and amazing. You're going to experience some different things. You're going to make lots of friends. Also, you're going to create bad, bad moments, but get rid of them. And you're going to learn a lot from your mistakes, your friends, from people you meet. You have to enjoy every single moment of your college life because they are amazing years. So that's it. Hope you find this video helpful because trust me it's not a big deal you're going to have fun you're going to go to lots of parties you're going to make friends and you're going to remember this year also if you have any more tips or advice for those who are starting college or about to start please comment down below and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and i'll see you in the next one bye